Hi guys, welcome to another video and in today's video we will be talking about tips to know before coming to Bali and kind of things that I wish I knew before I came to Bali and I hope this is helpful. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Let's get into the tips. The first tip I want to say is respect the place and the people. I say this because I think we see too many foreigners, especially here, that are not respecting the rules as much. Like they think that they can go drive their motorcycle without a mask, without a helmet. And it's very disrespectful and it's like especially you see more foreigners doing that because even if you get fined, it's not that much of a fine for them. But you do see all the Balinese following the new rules. You always see them with helmets and a mask and always following the rules. So you are a guest here. So always be mindful of what are you doing and respect the people and the place. The second tip is going to be find a reliable visa agency because I see a lot of groups on Facebook they're trying to find like the cheapest price and the fastest way to get here and the cheapest price is usually ended up in a scam I'm not saying all of them but a lot of them I see that they're being a scam so do your research and make sure you find a reliable uh, agency place and then also when you come here you want to find an agency depending on your visa that is going to help you extend your visa if you need to or whatever you need to do with your visa because you do not want to get in trouble with immigration. Next tip is going to be for accommodations. So if you're planning to stay in Bali for a long period of time, I suggest you first check out uh, Facebook groups. There's so many Facebook groups that are for renting, for buying villas, from um, what is it called? Monthly rent or six month rent or even yearly rent. So it's a very good source to find villas and you're able to contact the owner or the manager or the agency that is in charge of that um, house through Facebook or through WhatsApp. Um, I think is one of the best ways to find villas. And if you're looking for nightly or something for the weekend or even longer, you can always go to Airbnb and find some cool places to stay at, like a tree house or an eco villa. There's so many options. You will never go wrong with Airbnb. Okay, my next tip is one that I wish more people would talk about and is make sure you get a house that, ha that you can close off the living room and the bathrooms. I think in the beginning it's like such a cool concept to have an outdoor bathroom, outdoor shower, and then like the living space being open. It's nice for a day or two or just to take pictures, but when you're actually in the living room and it's hot outside, it's not a nice feeling you just want to relax and then when you go into the bathroom you find crabs spiders geckos bugs everything it's not really nice so make sure you get a space that has you're able to close it off and the next tip is going to be transportation the number one tip for transportation know how to drive a scooter before you get to bali because there's so many tourists that come here and they think, oh, I'll just rent it, it's gonna be easy. The, the roads are very narrow, there's so many people, it's not that easy, and you do not wanna get in an accident and ruin your time here in Bali. And if you don't know how to drive a scooter, there's so many uh, companies that will teach you, so scooter lessons that will teach you how to drive the scooter. And the next tip is make sure you have your international license. Uh, you do not want to get stopped and then you maybe have to even pay a fee so it's better just to have it just in case. The next tip for transportation is if you do not want to drive a scooter or you don't feel safe with it like me uh, you can always download Gojek or Grab which is like the Uber for Bali so you can always order a scooter so they can pick you up and they will drive you to your destination or you can also order a car through the app. My first tip for money is going to be pay with cash because in a lot of restaurants and stores they're going to charge you 2% on each transaction. If you do many transactions, it depends how long you're going to be here, it's going to add up. 
and also in my case every time I did an international transaction my bank also charged me so it's just fees upon more fees my next tip for money is if you need to get cash make sure that you go to an ATM and preferably to one that's connected to a bank because there's going to be security there there's so many cases in Bali that the ATMs they're rigged, people get their money, money stolen, and another one is that people leave their card on, in the ATM because the ATMs usually give you the money first and then they give you card, which is the opposite of what we have back home. So don't forget to take your card every time you leave the ATM. The next tips are for shopping. My first tip for shopping is going to be when you go to the markets or the little shops where you can get like souvenirs and stuff is make sure you negotiate because they always up up the price so you're able to get it at a much lower price than the first price that they gave you my next tip if you're trying to save money try to stay away from shopping in Chenggu and in, just in general Chenggu is more expensive so if you go to different parts of Bali you will find that things are going to be less expensive there. Okay, my next tips are like random tips. And the first one is do not drink the Bali water. Do not cook with it. Do not brush your teeth with it in the beginning because the water has more bacteria and more things in it. So it's better safe than sorry. So it can prevent you from getting sick. And also try to prevent having drinks with ice as well. Okay, my next tip is reduce your plastic intake. Bali already has a big plastic problem, so let's not be part of that problem. When you go to the grocery store, for example, you can ask for no plastic when they're trying to uh, bag your grocery uh, items like your fruits and vegetables. And then when you go to pay, make sure you use a reusable bag. So it's little things like that that's going to help out and it makes a huge difference if everybody does their part. So reduce your plastic, guys. So those are the tips that I have for you for today. And if you have a different tip that I didn't mention and you think it's a very helpful tip, make sure you put that in the comments below so it can help everybody out watching this video. And thanks again for everybody watching and subscribing. Bye, guys. Thank you.